Lamprey are an order of jawless fish. They physically resemble eels in that they have no scales and are very long. However, they also have no paired fins. Their most notable feature, however, is their huge, jawless, suction cup like mouth full of horrific teeth. Most lamprey are well known for the parasitism of other fish, latching onto them and sucking blood with the aforementioned Ring of Terror. The bites of sea lamprey in particular can often be found on fish caught. Sea lamprey are found all throughout the North Atlantic, from both the North American coast to Europe, into the Mediterranean Sea and the freshwater inlets that border all of these. They're an invasive pest within the Great Lakes, having found their way there with the opening of the Erie Canal in 1825. Oops. Which brings us to this. Lamprey are found all over the place, even in completely landlocked lakes. They're found in temperate regions of the world, with the exception of those in Africa. If you live in London, these things have been sighted very recently within the Thames. Lamprey are fond of rivers, you see. They breed in them, sometimes after turning from life in the ocean. Which brings us to this. Lamprey have a bizarre life cycle. The larval stage of the lamprey spends years in the river, burrowed into sediment, living as a filter feeder. Over a period of several months, they slowly metamorphize into the adults you know and love. As adults, this is the time when they start their I'm going to latch onto fish and just sort of chew on them with this terror mouth of mine thing that they do. Unless, you know, they don't. Several species of lamprey don't feed at all when they're in their adult stage, much like several species of insects. Lamprey are a strange beast, taxonomically speaking. They're technically vertebrates, but they're so unlike their bony fish cousins that it seems a sort of sister tax to every vertebrate with a jaw. The term fish is really a rather broad term, because a lot of the fish you see are related as close as a frog is to a bird. See, while vertebrates are classed, you have amphibia, reptilia, aves, and amalia, which are very obviously amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. It's very easy to differentiate them. What we call fish are actually three different classes. Osteoichthys, the bony fish, chondrichthys, the cartilaginous fish, and agnathostomata, the lamprey and hagfish. Taxonomy is a weird, complicated thing. Zorik has stated before, taxonomy is basically the let's play of the natural world.